Hi, I'm Chris McKenna, the founder of Protect Young Eyes. Thank you so much for visiting the website today. What I want to show you is how to set up a Chrome device, be it a Chromebook that is like a laptop or a Chrome base that looks like this. They both run the same operating system. I want to show parents how to enable some monitoring and parental controls so they can keep track of the things that their son or daughter may be doing. What we have here is a Chrome base. Many of your children would maybe from school have a Chromebook which looks more like a laptop. They both run, as I said before, the same operating system, so the steps we're going to follow here would be the same on both types of devices. When the Chromebook or Chrome base was initially purchased, there would have been the option to create an administrator or an overall owner for the device. Now, I'm assuming that in most cases that step has already been taken on the devices that you may have at home right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to log in as the administrator on this device so that we can go through some steps. I'll close the browser here. The first thing you're going to want to do is in the lower right hand corner, which will have your icon um, for whatever login you use, you're going to click on settings. And what this does, it opens up a whole range of settings that Google offers you. But you want to go down here to people. And under people, click on manage other users. Here, there's four different things that can be checked or unchecked. And the way it looks right now is the way that we want it to look in order to set up what is called a, um, a supervised user, which is what we're going to show you how to do in just a minute. But make sure first one is unchecked, enabled guest browsing. What that prevents is from anybody getting on and using this without a Google account, which would then create a situation where anybody could get online and use Chrome and not track any of the history. So we want to prevent that because we want to have the ability to see what websites have been visited. So make sure enable guest browsing is unchecked. Make sure that enable supervised users is checked. That's what we're going to create here in just a moment. Show username and photo on the sign in screen, checked. And then uncheck restrict sign into the following users. Right now, the only user that is on here is the user for this particular Chrome base. What we're going to do now is create a new supervised user, which would be the login used by your son or daughter. We'll click done here since that's exactly how we want it to look. Go back down to the lower right hand corner and sign out. The device will take just a minute. Now what you'll notice in the lower left hand corner is this option to add person. Right next to it are these three dots. If I click on those, we'll see add supervised user. And that's what we want to do. Here, Google gives a short explanation of what a supervised user is. In a nutshell, a supervised user is somebody that allows the administrator to see everything that is being done online. We're going to create that supervised user here. Again, it's asking me as the administrator to log on. So I'm going to do that in order to create the supervised user. And then I can choose a name. I'm just going to say test. Looks like you've already managed. Do you want to? I'm going to put test one. Um, I'll just create a, a simple password that I'll remember. I can select a picture for the supervised user if I want. Um, I'll select the jellyfish just because, and then we'll go to next. And it's creating it. A supervised user named test one has been created. Now what's going to happen is whatever Gmail account I had used as the administrator to set up this Chrome base, it's going to send me an email, give me some further instructions on how I can manage that supervised user. Click got it. Now what you'll see are two login options, one as a supervised user and then one as my administrator. What I'm going to do is go back in to log in as the administrator. and go back down to the lower right hand corner and go back to those settings where we started, back to manage other users. Now what I want to do is restrict sign in to only these two. If these are the only two users that I want to use this device, myself as the parent and test one as the child, I want to restrict only those two to be able to use this device and click done and you're all set. Now, if you wanted your son or daughter to use it, you would log out. They would log in as test one. All web activity is tracked. They cannot delete the web history. You can also create certain websites that your son or daughter could visit as a supervised user. 
they are not able to add other users and that way parents have full access into what kind of browsing may be going on. Well, thank you so much for visiting today. I'm a dad with young kids and I wanna do everything I can to help you protect the young eyes in your home. Be sure to sign up for the newsletter at the bottom of any of the pages on the website so you can stay current. Take care.